Hi, I'm Johan and I made a tutorial video about a marketing automation tool that will help you target your customers across a variety of channels and will help you establish long-term personal relationships. Do you want to know how you can increase your contact engagement and close more deals? Do you want to discover how you can increase your operational efficiency and grow revenue faster? Well, stay tuned because I will be covering Active Campaign. Once you have signed up for the Active Campaign service, you can access your Active Campaign dashboard by filling in your credentials. I like the way how you are welcomed in Active Campaign. You see in a nutshell the tasks that need further completion. You see how your marketing automation efforts are performing. And for quick access, you can create new campaigns, new automations. And if you like, you can also manage your email templates. And all these widgets are customizable for a quick access. But since we're dealing with email automation and marketing automation, you can imagine that you're much more interested to know how contacts behave within the platform. Because that's the first thing that you will need to do is, okay, where are the contacts? How will I segment my contacts? And you can do so by going to that search and filling in the name of the contact. You can, of course, if you start out from scratch, you will need to import your contacts right into Active Campaign. And as you see, you can import from a file, but you have a lot of services where you can add your contacts automatically. We are not going to import because as you can see in my list, we have already performed an import. This is something that you can see by the labels here that have been assigned to these contacts which indicate from where they originated and this is clearly an import from a csv file note however that some other contacts have other labels you can filter your contacts by tags by list by their status and you have an advanced search where you can select a condition and query your contacts according to specific criteria uh, in example segment people with the import tags is nothing more than a condition you can add other conditions in order to segment the people that you would like to have as a result set this segment builder is also used when you're launching your campaigns or when you want to distill a segment of contacts on which an automation needs to run on so this is really very powerful but let's create our first campaign and when you go to your campaigns list, you will see that you have six campaign types to choose from. And we're going to select the standard one because we are going to send out a regular one-time email campaign. You select the list to whom you want to send the campaign. And as previous, you can further segment your lists by using the segment builder. Next, you go to design and as you can see, you have a lot of templates. You can also, of course, have your own templates to choose from. And I have a newsletter template. So I will use this design, a title for your campaign. So we'll add the email subject, welcome newsletter. And then we end up in the design of the newsletter that we can finalize by adding some design elements on the right, we can add text blocks, buttons, videos. And as you see, we have in the newsletter already some image blocks and text blocks and buttons. And what I like in, in uh, Active Campaign, in fact, is that you can also use within your text blocks personalization fields in order to give that personal touch in your newsletters by filling in by default in example the first name and eventually other personalization fields that you would like uh, here i have embedded an rss feed block so up here you will simply need to paste in the rss feed of your blog and then what you also can do is making your blocks conditional 
as you see I have here an image block and this is clearly a man's watch so I would like to add underneath an image of a woman's watch so I'm going to insert that image of that woman's watch and now what I would like to do in fact is make these images conditional so I would like to have that only people that have as gender that are female can watch this image and I only want this image to display for male people so again I will say gender equals male and confirm so now you see here the two images but according to the person who will who will watch the newsletter according to his gender he will see the males or the women's watch what you have to know is in fact if you do a very good segmentation of your contacts list you can send out one newsletter and really give the necessary accents according to the segmented audience and that's something which is really really powerful so we're going to the next step and that is the summary where you can indicate the subject the from address the reply to address the list to whom you sent the campaign and of course some tracking features that you can activate once you have performed you can still do a test sending but we're going to skip that and we're going to save and exit and leave the campaign builder and head over to the forms if you want to grow your email list you will need your own forms and you can do that by creating a new form and give it a name and then you can decide on the form style you can choose an inline form which is in line with your text on your page you can have a floating bar you can have a floating one as a box and you can also choose for a light box which is a model pop-up as we call it once you have selected you can continue customizing your form just like this one which I have already made which is an opt-in form where you, I have a full name the phone the email and messages fields but you can of course according to the form drag and drop additional fields you can also decide on customizing the style of the form the form positioning on a background color a font color and even further customize your button and if you like you can add some custom CSS code in order to further improve the layout of your form form you decide on the options do you want to show a thank you message or perhaps you would like to show and open a, a landing page where the person can collect an example an ebook you can also decide on the form action it means that here you're going to decide what needs to happen once that the form has been submitted the form data will be added to the list email series and you can add additional actions like selecting an action where you say okay I would like for every person who signs up that form to add a tag and that is very interesting when we later on want to segment our contacts while we're launching a campaign or during automations we can add to a deal we can email the results of the data submitted and subscribe to list the last setting opt-in options has everything to do with confirmed opt-in which means that once that the person has subscribed and submitted the form he will receive email with the request to confirm his action and once you have finished the form you can start integrating it and there again you have different possibilities you can embed the code into the landing page builder you can link the form or you can integrate it in WordPress and or Facebook another way of integrating your form which I will not cover in detail is through the use of API if you sign up one of my courses you will find much more detail about how you can make that work I am a practice what you preach person and I would like to illustrate how this form works on my website I have a contact page where I have embedded the form 
and I will illustrate when you enter the form and indicate particular interest for a product or service how in the background an automation will take care of all that data and provision the right info, the right tags and the right lists in the personal info of the contact details that will have been created in Active Campaign. Let me show you. Active Campaign, I fill in a subject, info, can you contact me? I am interested in active campaign. The contacts has submitted the form, so now we can check out our active campaign. And the best way is to head over to contacts and check if the contact details have arrived. So we were going to do a search in our active campaign for the name. We have found that contact and if we click on that contact, we will find his personal info. And you see, indeed, everything has been collected. Even the message information has been put in a custom message field. And as you see down under, we have an interest tag for active campaign. And he has been added in some interesting lists like the newsletter list. So, so you can receive our newsletter. There will be a prospect follow up later and a pipeline list where he has been added. So the automation to care of labeling this contact with that interest tag and by putting him on these different lists for later follow up. You might think having that contact in four lists isn't that expensive. Well, Active Campaign is contact centric compared to other automation solutions who are list centric. And this means that it doesn't matter in how many lists the contact is displayed, you will only pay for one contact sign up. But the automation did much more. As you look up here, you will see that the automation has immediately created a task, an email that needs to be sent to that person as a task. And next to personal info, you will also see that there is a deal created for that person. And that makes sense. I think when a person submits a contact form and really indicates his interest for a product, well, then you can have a hot prospect and then it makes sense to create a deal for later follow up. This deal, you can also consult it in the deals section in the menu. And there you have a visual representation of your sales pipeline. And as from here, you will be able to consult the deal, but you can also drag and drop the deal from one stage to another or you could also indicate it as a won or a lost. Once you have dragged it over, it remains an open deal. You can indicate complete and you can decide to send him an email. Let's have a look at that automation that was triggered as soon as the contact has submitted the form and was in charge of creating all that awesomeness. When you edit the automation, you will land in the visual builder and you will see that it is triggered as soon as the contact submits the form. And first thing in the automation is questioning the contact data and see if he has indicated an interest in active campaign in the product. If he didn't, well then we will add his contact details to, to the newsletter list and end the automation. If he does indicate interest in a product like here, Active Campaign, then we will label him with an interest tag, Active Campaign. And after that, notify the product manager of the existence of a new prospect for that product. In the meanwhile, in the sales pipeline, the first stage, we have created a deal. And for that deal, also a task in order to make sure that we would follow up that request by email. And then we have added him to the pipeline list, the newsletter list and the follow up list. And after that, the automation ends. 
is it hard to create an automation or edit an automation for improving? I would say no. The Visual Builder in Active Campaign is awesome to work with. You can easily drag and drop new actions in order to improve your automations. In example up here, I would like to send a welcome email at the end of the automation so that the person knows that he will be contacted soon. So once that I have saved this action, I can even decide to further improve my automation and decide even to start another automation. So in example here, I would like to have the contact to be held over to another automation. In example, an automation for nurturing. And as you see, I have a lot of experience with automations. So if you need some consultation or coaching, well, just give a shout out and we will meet and discuss how we can make that work for your organization. Here, I'm going to select a nurture series which is in fact an automation that will send over a time lapse of three weeks emails with relevant content. And as you see, as from now, it will enter in the nurture automation. You have to know that you can create your automations from scratch, but you can also make use of templates. So there are a lot of automations available in Active Campaign that you can simply copy for own use. So this is something which is very awesome and will speed up your process of creating automations. One last tip, start with a simple automation and work as from there. But overall, it's great working with that visual builder in Active Campaign. So the last topic that I would like to cover are the reports. So when you had to reports, you will see that you have a lot of reporting features available. You can report on your campaigns, on the automations, goals. You can have reports on your contacts and deals. This is a test environment, so I cannot show you much reports. Perhaps I can show you the sales pipeline. I will not go further in detail. I think it's time for conclusions and definitely as from my experience, if you are a small sized business, marketer, entrepreneur, and even freelancer who no longer wants to export and sync ever changing contacts lists with third party solutions, if you are looking to go beyond email automation and are looking for an all-in-one solution that translates your entire business marketing strategy by combining with customer relationship management and sales automation, well then Active Campaign is definitely worth your time. If you want to try out Active Campaign for yourself, I have put an affiliate link so that you can try out a solution for 15 days. Enjoy and thank you for watching.